It's also the hometown of Chunyangdang and the stage for exciting festivals. Namwon is a small city, but it's a charming tourist attraction that offers much to see and do. One of its landmarks is the Gwangalu Pavilion, standing in a 600-year-old garden. The name Gwangalu means a place where a nymph lived in the moon. The Gwangalu Pavilion is famous for its long history, beautiful scenery, and diverse programs for visitors. Here's another reason many people like to come here. This is where the Korean classic love story of Chunyang was born. On our way to find out more about Chunyangjun, we meet someone very special. Hello. Miss Chunyang? What's Miss Chunyang? 아, 춘향이의 정신을 기리기 위해서 매년 선발하는 대회입니다. In Namwon, a beauty pageant is held every spring to choose not only the most beautiful women, but also women who are well versed in traditional etiquette. The purpose of the contest is to commemorate and carry on the spirit of Chunyang. There is also a shrine dedicated to the heroine of this touching love story. Chunhyang in her portrait is beautiful in a graceful way. It's like seeing her in person. We are curious to know more about the story. This story begins with how Chunhyang and Mungnyong meet by chance in Gwangallu. But the two are forced to separate when Mungnyung leaves to take a state exam. Chunyang's love is put to test, but she remains faithful to Mungnyung. In the end, Mungnyung passes his exam and reunites with Chunyang. Just as Verona in Italy is popular as the setting for Romeo and Juliet, Namwon is beloved by Koreans as the birthplace of Chunyangjun. Those who have never heard of this story can stroll through the Chunyang theme park and see the mannequin enactment of the story. Traces of the story are found across the Gwangalu Pavilion Garden. It was probably this bridge that made love between Chunyang and Mungnyong stronger after they crossed it. She shows us how to ride the swing. This is how Chunyang might have looked to Mungnyong. Chunyang Jun is a story of one woman's unwavering integrity. It's a story that takes us back to the meaning of love. Every spring, 
Now one holds a festival dedicated to Chunyang. What was started as a festival to keep the spirit of Chunyang alive has become one of the most celebrated cultural festivals in Korea.